Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jonathan Coase and in today's free sales funnel training, I'm going to be showing you how to create a pop-up overlay, whether it be delayed or you can have it where someone clicks on a button and it takes them to a pop-up, put their email in for a newsletter. So I actually have one that I set up the other week on my main site, whereas right here where it says join the Limitless Traffic Mastery email newsletter, if they click on this, it basically says the same thing that it says right here. So if they either click on this or this, it'll open up this pop-up overlay like so, where it says subscribe to the Limitless Traffic Mastery email newsletter and get a free digital copy of the Marketer's Dojo print newsletter, $97 value. And then they can just put their email in, but you can put this and create it however you want. As you can see, it corresponds with my style and my brand and my colors. I'm going to show you how to set all of this up. So on my other website, Health and Fitness Tips, if you go to visit site, Currently, I don't have a pop-up overlay, but I'm going to show you how to do it on my new post, Nine Habits to Improve Digestion and Eliminate Bloating, which I actually haven't even created anything with it yet. So we're going to create a pop-up overlay in this example right here. Now I'm going to give you a brief tour and I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to show you how to create delays. Now I actually have my chatbot here that I installed the other day. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and exit out of this. And in the meantime, I'm going to cover the pop-up overlay. So up here, I have two of them already created, but right here, typically you'll see where it says create opt-in overlay or create blank overlay. And then also under sections, if you click on this drop down here, if you scroll down, you also see options where you have different templates for pop-up overlay. So you got the exit and offers, intros and segmentations, and just like opt-in page style pop-up overlay. So and so you can see what they look like by just clicking on them and scroll down. So in order to use these, what you got to do is you got to click on up here where it says pop overlay and then click on create blank overlay. And this is how you can choose these right here, these different templates. Now, if you want to just create one from scratch, you have to choose right here where it says create opt-in overlay. And I'm going to walk you through that here in just a minute. But in the meantime, I just kind of want to talk about creating a blank overlay. So if you do that, this toolbar will come up right here. We have the pop-up settings and you have this little plus icon. All you really got to do right now, we're in pop-up settings. So you can adjust the top margin right here. You can change the background color, like the page overlay color here. You can change that here. So whether you want to be red or you want to be black, just keep it as such. And right here is we actually have the delay in animation. So you can make it so the pop-up will come up based off of a certain timer or a trigger event. So you can have a delay timer or you can have exit intent and the pop up will come up based off of that action. And you can make adjustments over here under style where it says delay and animation if you want to do that. And then also you have the background. You can set an image if you like. So any image you want and then you can change the borders and the corners. So I just wanted to quickly walk you through this area right here for the pop up settings because it's the same for this one and the other one as far as like when you create a blank overlay or if you create one just from the default where they say create an uh, opt-in overlay. So in order to actually add a section right here for the overlay, all you really got to do is just go up here to where it says sections, and then you can just choose from the ones that come in this little waterfall of settings here. For this example, I'm just going to click on exit and offers, and I'm going to use this specific template where it says, wait, not ready for the premium plan. And this is just an example for when someone tries to exit out from maybe reviewing the premium offer. Wait, not ready for the premium plan. Et cetera, et cetera. And then you got the sub headline and then you got the call to action, the button. So the way to actually connect this and integrate it is by this button right here where it says link options. And then you can actually send it to a, a destination afterwards, or you can just have them send them to like a, a thank you page, or you can have it go to another pop-up overlay. But typically for this exit splash or this exit intent, what you want to do is you want to have them go to another page or like a another offer where it gives them maybe even a discount because they're about to leave. So you give them another incentive to come back and, and take action and consider your offer. So you have the different options right here. This is for an exit intent right here. This is an example for what that will look like. So you don't have to click on save in order for it to come up in this little section right here. You can just exit out like so. And then as you can see right here under pop up overlay, it came up right where it says edit overlay three. So if I click on that, it's going to come right up. So if you want to make any adjustments to this, you just click on the entire thing and this toolbar will come up and this is where you can change the background color on individual sections right here. You can change the button color right here. If you want to make it red, you can go here. If you want to make it yellow, you can do it like that. 
any any color you like you can basically change it to that and you can do the same thing with the text up here all you really got to do is just click on this and right here where it says text editor you click on this paint option right here where it has a text color and the background colors. So if you wanna change the background color, you can do that right here. If you wanna change the text color, you can do that right here. And if you wanna change the actual font and the font size and the font family, this is where you go right here in the, under the text editor. So it's essentially the same as any of the other layout and element adjustments from the Optimize Suite and the Optimize Builder. If you're familiar with it, this is, this is essentially just a breeze to set up. And I wanna show you how to do it if you were to set up a button. So if I were to go ahead and click on pop overlay and then click on create opt-in overlay, let's just say if I want to ha actually have a button on my page and make it so that button goes to a pop-up overlay. I have an example already, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it from scratch. I'll click on create opt-in overlay, or you can do the blank overlay too, where you can choose the template from the area up here under sections. You can choose any one of these. So if you just wanted to stick to sections, that's how you do it. You make sure you just go to where it says create blank overlay and then you drag and drop it over like so. But in this specific case, I'm just gonna go to where it says create opt-in overlay. And as you can see, it already saved that new opt-in overlay for me. So I'm gonna create one from scratch. And when I do this, basically this will come up. You can make the same exact adjustments that I showed you before. And over here, I'll just use this as an example, register your spot now, and then I'll exit out of this. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to create a blank template just to show you what this looks like from scratch. So I'm just gonna do a blank template like so, and then I'm gonna show you what this looks like if I were to just add a button onto the page. So I'm gonna start with the headline, then a sub headline. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a headline like so, sub headline right under that. And that's just a chat bot that I installed. I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger. This is just for an example here. So if I want, I can put a button right here. So I'll just go ahead and drag this button over below the row. And I'm just going to show you what this looks like using the one that's right here. So usually when you click on this, typically, if you see my other videos, you see me just add a URL right here where it says link options. But if you click on this drop down right here, you can choose where it says show pop-up overlay and you just click on that. And then right here where it says pop-up overlay trigger, you can click these options down here where you have your overlays. So I'm gonna click overlay number five, the, the one that we created. So when they click on this, it'll actually have that one pop up. You can also create a video overlay from scratch from here or create an opt-in overlay. But in this case, since I've already created this one, I'm gonna go ahead and go with overlay five because I already have enough overlays as it is. So now that I have that set up, I'm gonna click on save and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So on the preview page here, if, they, if someone was to click on this button, as you can see, the pop-up overlay comes up. So if you wanna integrate this with your autoresponder, all you really gotta do is just go over to the main dashboard and just make sure that your respective software is integrated on the optimized press on the left-hand side where it says integrations. And just make sure that's connected. And when you configure that actual button, like the actual overlay itself, if I click on pop up overlay, I click on edit overlay, this comes up. All you got to do is just click on this top section right here. Make sure you have the whole element highlighted, not the individual ones, because you won't be able to find what I'm trying to show you right here. But basically just click on this top, this outer element right here. And right here where you see this envelope is where you have the integration options. You click on that and you connect it to your respective autoresponder. All right. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's how you create a pop-up overlay. And again, if you want to do a delayed response on the left-hand side is where you have animation and delay, you have those two options for the different triggers. You can delay after the page loads, you can delay after they scroll to a specific destination, or you can have them so it's, a it's based off of a timer or if it's based off of a certain action. And you can also adjust everything over here as far as like the input positioning and the element positioning like the width of the box right here, you can make those adjustments. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like content like this, then I highly recommend that you check out my website, jonathancoast.com. I talk about everything when it comes to generating traffic and increasing sales. All you gotta do is just click on blog, and then it's gonna take you to the area where I publish weekly content, and then you'll see all of my content right here. So if you just continue to scroll down all of these different categories, you got traffic generation, search engine optimization, direct marketing, paid traffic, free traffic strategies. I talk about essentially everything when it comes to business. I created a formula called the limitless traffic formula. 
This one right here, if you click on this, is completely free. It will redirect you to the Google Docs. But if you go to limitlesstrafficformula.com, you can actually get five free videos where I'll walk you through this entire process. Now, the Limitless Traffic Formula actually revised this one day before ChatGPT came out. So if you scroll down right here in the content area, it'll take you to those sections for the daily action plan and the traffic cheat sheet so that you can get consistent leads to your business on a day to day basis. And be sure to take a look at the tools and the resources below. I have everything that I included in this video in regards to Optimized Press and the Limitless Traffic Formula in my website. And with that said, I will see you in the next video. See you there.